Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade exponential equation. We have 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 2 to the power 1 over x squared equals 6. And we're looking for positive x values. Now, this equation is a non-standard equation. You can go ahead and solve it graphically, right? Possibly. But we do need an outside-the-box approach for this. So, let's consider the following. I'm going to go ahead and write this as 2 to the power x times 2 plus 2 to the power 1 over x squared. And since I have the 2 to the power x twice, I can go ahead and write it as 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power x plus 2 to the power 1 over x squared. Does that ring a bell? Hopefully. Now, we're going to use what is called AM-GM inequality. The AM-GM inequality works like this for three numbers. If A, B, C are all positive, then their arithmetic mean, or their average, is going to be greater than or equal to their geometric mean. Now, when they're equal, that means all the numbers are equal. If A equals B equals C, then we have the equality. So, that's what we're going to use, and let's set it up. So, I'm going to start off with 2 to the x plus 2 to the x plus 2 to the power 1 over x squared divided by 3, so that's the arithmetic mean, and that is going to be greater than or equal to, obviously all these terms are positive, right? Because x positive, even if x wasn't positive, the, they would be positive. We're going to compare it to the cube root of the product of these, which is the geometric mean. Alright? Now we do know the value of the sum, right? Because it comes from here. So this is actually equal to Maybe we should write it. 6, right? This is equal to 6. Great. So now we're going to replace that with 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So this expression right here, the cube root of 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 1 over x squared is going to be less than or equal to 2 because we switch sides, right? And we can go ahead and cube both sides. 2 to the x times 2 to the x times 2 to the 1 over x squared is less than or equal to 8. Now, how's the, how, does it help, how does this help us? Well, first of all, we can combine these by adding the exponents. We can write this as 2 to the power x plus x, which is 2x, plus 1 over x squared less than or equal to 8. Now, you have an expression like 2 to the power something is less than or equal to 8. It means since 2 is greater than 1, it means the exponent is less than or equal to 3. So, we can write it as 2x plus... 1 over x squared is less than or equal to 3. We could also arrive at this result by logging both sides, base 2. Since the base is greater than 1, uh, the, the inequality is not going to change. So this is an important finding because if you think about it, x is positive, right? So I'm just going to plug in some values. Like what if x equals 3? 6 plus 1 ninth, that's definitely greater than 3. So inequality doesn't work. What about x equals 2? Well, if you plug it in, 4 plus 1 fourth, that is greater than 3 again. So this inequality doesn't work for these values, but does that mean it's never going to work for positive x values? Maybe some smaller values, because if you make the x larger, obviously 2x is going to get larger, so it's not going to work. Okay, so here's the thing. This function, this expression, can also be broken down, just like before. And we can use AMGM one more time. So that's one approach, and I'm also going to be presenting an alternative approach, okay? So let's go ahead and write it as x plus x plus 1 over x squared, like before. And then remember, uh, first time we used the AMGM, we used the exponentials. This time we're going to use the exponents, the sum of the exponents, okay? So the arithmetic mean of these three numbers must be greater than or equal to their geometric mean, which is the cube root of their product. But guess what? Their product equals 1. Obviously, x is positive. x does not equal 0. So this product is just going to be 1. So we get the following from here. x plus x is 2x again, plus 1 over x squared. Divide by 3 is greater than or equal to 1. This is 1. But if you multiply by 3, you're going to get that this expression is always greater than or equal to 3. Now, let's go back to our finding. We found that AMGM gives us, AMGM gave us this inequality. But we used AMGM again, and we got this inequality. What is that supposed to mean? 
it means that we have to meet in the middle. You can't have something greater than 3 and less than 3. It has to equal 3. So this implies that our expression is equal to 3. But what does that imply? Well, if you have the AMGM inequality and uh, you have you have that this is greater than or equal to 3, but now it's equal to 3. It means all of these quantities are equal. This implies x equals x equals 1 over x squared. And that just means x equals 1. So from here, x equals 1 is the only value that satisfies this inequality. Make sense? Because it has to take the minimum value. Now, there's another way to approach this, and I'm also going to show you the graph, which will help you make more sense of this. So, we can do the following. We can consider f of x. Probably use a different color here. Let's use this one. Uh, f of x equals, let f of x be 2x plus 1 over x squared. So, suppose I'm trying to find a minimum and maximum value. So, I got two different inequalities. Let's differentiate this. And first of all, let's write it as 2x plus x to the power of negative 2. When you differentiate, it's going to be 2 minus 2x to the power of negative 3. Set it equal to 0. 2x to the power of negative 3 is 2. x to the negative 3 is 1. 1 over x cubed equals 1. x cubed equals 1. x equals 1. Okay, great. It requires some work, but x equals 1 uh, is going to give us... Well, how can you tell it's uh, going to give you the maximum or minimum? Well, you can take the second de derivative... From here, for example, I know some folks like the second derivative test. It is going to be 6x to the power negative 4. And that is 6 over x to the fourth, which is going to be positive all the time. Of course, x is positive. It's not going to be 0, right? And if the second derivative is positive, that means you our function is going to be concave up, which means it's not, it's not going to have a max. It's going to have a minimum value. So x equals 1, to keep a long story short, is the only solution to this problem problem of course we're only talking about positive solutions here make sense so we use the am gm twice and am gm with three numbers is basically the arithmetic mean of three numbers is always greater than or equal to their geometric mean when those two means are equal that means a b c are all equal to each other now let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and we're just going to finish it up so here i graphed two functions for you one of them is 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 2 to the power 1 over x squared, which is the blue one. So it kind of has two pieces because as x approaches 0, 1 over x squared is going to approach infinity. And from the right and from the left, that's why you have that asymptote. The, the y-axis is a vertical asymptote, so that's why we have to have two pieces. That's why I wanted to focus on the positive side. All right? So as you can see here, our positive side, this piece right here, has a minimum at x equals 1, and the minimum value is 6, which is obtained at x equals 1. Therefore, x equals 1 is the only solution to this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.